the darkest depths of the world's oceans are some of the least explored and little known regions of our planet. It's such a tricky environment to survive in that animals that live there have developed strange evolutionary traits, and some of them are simply terrifying. From deadly poisons to frightening fangs and supersized suckers, you'll never see the ocean the same way again. Here are 15 of the most dangerous deep sea creatures. Number 15, Blue Ringed Octopus. Found in tide pools and coral reefs, as well as to the deepest depths of the Pacific and Indian Ocean, the Blue Ringed Octopus is one of the most dangerous aquatic creatures on Earth, and one that's perfectly possible for people to come into contact with. Typically growing to between 5 and 8 inches across, they have yellowish skin with blue and black rings and will begin to change color if they feel threatened. They spend most of their time hidden in crevices and cracks, waiting to opportunistically catch crustaceans or injured fish. And rather than wrapping their victims with their tentacles like most octopus species do, they instead have a horn-like beak that can puncture even the toughest of protective shells and then inject a potent cocktail of venom, which contains tetrodotoxin and a number of other deadly compounds. Frighteningly, each blue-ringed octopus, despite being small creatures, contain enough venom to kill as many as 26 people, and they'll bite at the first sign of trouble. The first effect of envenomation will be full-body paralysis, with victims being completely aware of their surroundings but unable to communicate their distress. Death will usually occur within a day by asphyxiation, and the only way to treat it is to put a victim on an artificial respirator until the toxin has been flushed out of their system. Number 14. Big Red Jellyfish First discovered by a remotely operated underwater vehicle in 2003, the Tiburonia granrojo, which means the big red jellyfish, is one of the largest and strangest species of sea jelly that we know of. Since then, only 23 specimens have been seen, with only one being retrieved for study, so we still have a lot to learn about them. But what we do already shows just how weird a place the deep ocean can be. Living at depths of around 2 to 5,000 feet, they've been found across the Pacific Ocean, such as in the Gulf of California, Monterey Bay, in the waters surrounding Hawaii, and off the coast of Japan. Believed to exhibit deep-sea gigantism, they're able to grow to around 30 inches in diameter and are visibly different from other jellyfish species. Instead of having tentacles dangling from the bell, for example, they have between four and seven fleshy oral arms. And scientists aren't quite sure how they're used for hunting. Without being able to use the technique adopted by most other jellies, it's thought these arms grab onto fish that swim too close and slowly push them up towards the jelly's mouth. There's one thing for certain, and that's that we're lucky they only live at depths far beyond where we can swim. If they were ever able to venture to the surface, then these deep red-colored jellyfish would surely be a real threat to safety. Number 13. Stargazer this strange-looking fish is called the stargazer, and it's one of 50 species that are part of the same biological family that can be found in all of the oceans of the world. They're highly adaptable and have been discovered in shallow waters as well as in incredibly deep locations, and that's because they spend the vast majority of their lives buried in the seabed. Some of them can grow to be enormous, such as the giant stargazer, which lives on the continental shelf off the coast of Japan and can measure up to 35 inches long. And all of their horrific features have developed to make them highly effective hunters. Their eyes point upwards, which is why they're called sky gazers. But this is, of course, so they can look up into the ocean for potential prey. Their mouths, too, are on the tops of their heads, and this means that once they see a fish or crustacean swimming past, they can launch up and strike. They've not just got the element of surprise and sharp teeth at their disposal, because they also have venomous spines, and two species have also got electric organs that allow them to discharge powerful shocks into the water. Once described as being the meanest things in creation, you definitely wouldn't want to encounter one of these in real life. Number 12. Hatchet Fish Named because of their often frighteningly shaped bodies, deep-sea hatchet fish are found in warmer waters around the world, particularly in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. They live at depths of between 165 and 5,000 feet and have developed an ingenious way of camouflaging in this part of the ocean, where light is still able to penetrate. They are bioluminescent, with photophores along the underside of their bodies, and this allows them to counter-illuminate themselves, which is a process whereby they recreate the intensity of light that reaches the top of their bodies. This is a result that, from beneath, they're virtually indistinguishable for predators, 
But this doesn't mean that they avoid confrontation. They're also a highly aggressive species that will stalk their prey from beneath before darting up and impaling it with their sharp teeth, and have eyes that point upwards from their bodies to make it easier for them to scour shallow waters for their next target. Their only saving grace is that the largest species of hatchet fish grows to just 4.7 inches long, so don't pose too much of a threat to humans. Number 11. Vampire Squid The ominously named vampire squid is a species that's native to tropical and subtropical oceans around the world. The first specimen to be documented was found in 1899 by an expedition looking to prove life existed below a depth of 1,800 feet. And you can only imagine what they must have thought when they brought one of these to the surface. Since then, we've obviously learned a lot more about them, and they're now classed as a deep-sea cephalopod. Living at 2,000 feet and deeper, they're only found beneath the level at which light can reach, and are also the only known species of cephalopod that's known to be able to live their entire lives in waters with such low oxygen saturation. They grow to a length of around 12 inches, and vary in color from jet black to a pale red. Unlike with most other squids, their arms are connected by connective skin that acts like a cloak, which helps them more efficiently propel themselves through the water, and their eyes, which can appear either red or blue, measure up to an inch in diameter, which makes them the largest in proportion to their body size of any known animal. Number 10. Chimera Ghost Shark Chimera, which are often called ghost sharks, are a type of fish that are most closely related to sharks and rays although they diverged from them in the evolutionary chain around 400 million years ago. They were once a huge biological group that were present in all the oceans, at all depths around the world. But this has now changed. While they still are in all oceans apart from the Arctic and Antarctic ones, they're usually only found at depths of between 660 and 8,500 feet. Developing long, soft bodies with large heads and just a single gill opening, chimera tend to grow to a maximum length of 4.9 feet and share a few similar features to modern-day sharks. Their skeletons are, for example, made of cartilage. They can use electroreception to find prey and lay similar leathery eggs. Some species do, however, also have venomous spines like the ones that some rays have, and instead of having replaceable sharp teeth, they have three rows of grinding plates. There's no doubt that, when seen at depth, the chimera look like ancient creatures, and because of their habitat, many species remain a mystery to science. There are currently 50 known species of chimera that are still alive, but some believe there could be many more, and possibly some that grow much, much larger. Number 9. Anglerfish Of all the types of deep-sea fish, it's probably the anglerfish that's best known. But there are actually more than 300 different known species of them that live at varying depths. Some, like the monkfish, stick to shallower waters, but others, like the Ceratiidae, live far deeper than most humans will ever venture in their lifetimes. The first anglerfish are believed to have emerged around 120 million years ago as carnivorous animals, and they've developed unique ways to capture their prey. Some species can grow as large as 39 inches, but they're sexually dimorphic, whereby the females are by far the biggest, and the males are just a fraction of an inch. During adulthood, the deep-sea female anglerfish grow a modified dorsal ray, which have a luminescent organ, called an esca, at the tip. Rather than lighting their way in the darker depths, these actually act as beacons to other creatures, which are attracted by the light, and once they're close enough, will be eaten by the anglerfish. These lures also perform a secondary role, however, as they're how the females attract their mates. One of the most unusual breeding techniques in the animal kingdom that's evolved because of how rare it is to find a partner in their environment. The males will swim up alongside the females, and their smaller bodies will completely fuse with the larger female. This was something that was only realized relatively recently when researchers noticed they were only catching female fish, but upon closer inspection, they found that what they had initially thought were parasites lodged into their bodies were in fact simply the remains of the males that had mated with them. Number 8. Dragonfish Typically growing to around 10 inches long, dragonfish are a group of ray-finned fish that live in deep waters all around the world. Despite being relatively small, they're considered to be apex predators in their ecosystems, and this is because every feature of their bodies has been designed to hunt. Their mouths, for example, have huge jaws that are lined with needle-sharp teeth and are able to open up to 100 degrees, which allows them to devour prey that's as much as 50% larger than themselves. 
Living in such a dark environment, they, like other deep sea creatures, use bioluminescence to help them track down their next meal. They have an appendage known as a barbel that hangs from their chins, and at the tip of this is a light-producing photophore. With further luminous organs along the sides of their bodies, they're able to produce shades of blue and green, which travel the furthest through water, and can create flashing displays to attract prey, and also to communicate with potential mates. One further clever adaptation is that their stomachs are surrounded by jet black walls, and this is to protect them from other predators in the ocean. Most animals that they will eat also have bioluminescent abilities, and if they were to produce light while being digested, it could give away their location. So by blotting this out, the dragonfish can eat in peace. Number 7. Hagfish Growing up to a length of up to 4 feet, hagfish are found on the seabeds of oceans around the world, and are some of the most unusual creatures we know of. Looking similar to eels, but sharing very few similarities beyond their appearance, the ones living in the depths today have hardly changed from when their ancestors first emerged around 300 million years ago. They are the only known animals to have skulls but no vertebral columns, and despite lacking vertebrae or fins, are a type of fish. Their skin loosely covers their body and is only connected along the central ridge of their backs, and the majority of their size is made up of blood that fills the space between their skin and their internal organs. What they're probably most famous for is the presence of around a hundred glands along their bodies that are able to produce large quantities of mucus, which serves as an effective defense technique if anything tries to take hold of them. But they also possess a rather frightening hunting technique. Their mouths are made up of circular rows of tooth-like structures that are made of keratin. And while they eat smaller animals in the way that you'd expect, they're also able to feed on creatures that are much, much larger than themselves. They use their teeth to cut an opening in the skin of the bigger target and will then wriggle their way into their bodies before beginning to eat them from the inside. This means they're more than capable of preying on sharks and even whales and wouldn't have a problem targeting a person if the opportunity arises. Number 6. Goblin Shark Often said to be living fossils because they could be traced back to fish that were alive 125 million years ago, goblin sharks are some of the most frightening aquatic animals that have ever been discovered. Growing to a maximum length of around 20 feet, they live at depths of more than 330 feet and are believed to venture as deep as 4,200 feet for brief periods of time. Present in all the oceans of the world, they get their names from their freakish heads, which have a long, flat snout along with a mouth that's full of needle-like teeth. And when they're feeding, their jaws extend unusually far in front of their resting position. Because of where they live, very little is actually known about their behavior, but their weak muscles, small fins, and poorly calcified skeletons suggest they're slow and fairly inactive animals. They are, therefore, most likely to be ambush predators, which is something made easier by their oily livers that help them to be neutrally buoyant. They can use this to drift towards potential prey without any body movement, which means they avoid detection, and then once they're on top of their victim, they can snap into action. Number 5. Coffin Fish the coffinfish is one of the 17 species of sea toad that are found across the world, but because of the deep environment they live in, they've only been known of since 1997. Growing to around 9 inches long, they're mainly found in the Pacific Ocean, but also have been found in the Atlantic at depths of up to 8,000 feet. In many ways, they are the deep water equivalent of a puffer fish. Normally, they are ball-like with loose, flabby skin over their bodies. But when they feel they're in danger, they'll use their gills to fill their bodies with water and increase their size by up to 30%. This causes a series of spine-like scales to become rigid and firmly stick outwards, which will give a nasty surprise to anything trying to bite into their flesh. Cleverly, they also have adaptations that help them hunt food, too. In particular, an illicium on their snout that is either stored by being lowered into a groove on their heads, or when they're hungry, extended forward to act as a lure to attract small creatures like crustaceans or fish. Number 4. Snaggletooth Even though they're relatively small, the snaggletooth is one of the most frightening-looking fish in the oceans and are vicious hunting machines that are perfectly adapted to tracking down and consuming virtually any creature that's smaller than they are. They've been found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as well as the Indian Ocean, and most commonly in the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico, at depths of between 300 and 3300 feet. 
Growing to just over 6 inches long, they are a dark black in color and have a barbel that hangs down from their chins, and it's almost double the length of their heads. They use this to attract their preferred prey of krill, amphipods, and lanternfish. And once they've dug their teeth into the flesh of their target, they won't let go until it has succumbed. As they live in relatively inaccessible regions, very little is known about their life cycles or how they breed, but researchers have managed to learn more about how they navigate. They're rarely seen on the surface except for at one specific time, at night, when the sun and moon are below the horizon. It's therefore thought that they use the moon to gauge their vertical migrations, but will stay away from the surface if it's illuminated. Number 3. Pelican Eel The pelican eel, which is sometimes referred to as the gulper eel, is a species of eel that typically lives at depths of between 1,600 and 9,800 feet. Despite being present in all the oceans of the world, the extreme environment that they live in means that very little is really understood about them, and virtually everything has been learned by studying specimens that have been caught in fishing nets. What we do know is that they grow to a length of up to about two and a half feet, and their mouths are much larger than the rest of their bodies. Their jaws are loosely hinged, which means they can open extremely wide to swallow prey that's much larger than the eel, and their lower jaws are so big that they represent about a quarter of the eel's length looks somewhat like that of a pelican. Lacking the fins, swim bladders, and scales of other eels, they have a highly developed tail that has an unusual organ at the tip that not only has a series of tentacles on it, but can also emit light to attract prey towards the eel. Rather than being a passive animal, though, analysis of the stomach contents of several specimens suggests that they are active hunters, whipping their tails back and forth to propel themselves through the water to chase down their next target. Number 2. Frilled Shark There'd be cause for concern if you encountered virtually any species of shark in the oceans, but if you start to venture into deeper waters, you may well have to contend with a frilled shark. They may not be as immediately dangerous as a great white or a bull shark, but this ancient species has been around for millions of years and has perfected the art of deep-sea hunting. Swimming with a technique more similar to that of an eel than of other sharks, they bend and lunge towards their prey in an effort to trap them with their 300 curved needle-like teeth that line their mouths. When fully grown, frilled sharks can measure up to 6.5 feet long and have been found at depths of between 160 and 5,100 feet. There are actually two different species, one that lives in the Atlantic and the other that lives in the Pacific, with the main difference being the size of their heads. Apart from that, their behavior is virtually identical, and not only share their unusual hunting methods, but also their preferred hiding spots, which are cracks and crevices in the continental shelf. Number 1. Giant Squid In the deep oceans, there's a phenomenon called deep-sea gigantism that allows animals to grow much larger than they would in shallower regions, and the fabled giant squid is undoubtedly the best example of this. For centuries, there had been stories of these enormous animals causing havoc to sailors, with the first written records dating back to the first century AD, and they're also thought to have been the inspiration behind legendary creatures like the Kraken in Norse mythology and the Skyla of Greek mythology. Because of the depths that they live at, however, the only actual proof of their existence was for a long time fragments of tentacles evidence on the skin of other animals of an attack by their tentacles, or on extremely rare occasions, entire bodies that washed up ashore. It was only in 2004 that footage of a giant squid in its natural habitat was captured for the first time, and this just showed how dangerous they truly are. Thought to measure up to 43 feet long, but with claims that individuals can dwarf this size, their mantles alone can grow up to six and a half feet long, and they have one of the largest eyes of any known animals that measures up to 11 inches in diameter, with another related species, the colossal squid, arguably growing to an even greater size than that of the giant squid. These animals would make light work of a human if they decided to, but the biggest danger they pose is that if they've survived for so long with such little evidence, could it mean that there are more giant underwater species that we're yet to find? Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.